Leinster Championship was the quarter-final meeting of Wexford and Antrim at Wexford Park. Many people were suggesting Antrim could cause an upset here. Reporting is Porrick Lodge. While some counties have still to begin their championship campaigns, the Antrim hurlers made the long journey to Wexford Park today for their second match in this year's Leinster Championship. There was a boost for Wexford before throw-in, with captain Darren Stamp given the go-ahead to start, having recovered from injury. A crowd of 3,500 fans were there to see the action, and the home supporters would have been satisfied to see their team open up a 3 points to 1 lead. But they were rocked seven minutes in from corner forward Conor McCann Gold to put Antrim ahead 1 1 to 3 points. In the next attack, though, Wexford got a goal of their own from a free. The impressive Jim Burry firing home, and soon after, Wexford led 1 6 to 1 1. But Colin Bonner's team went 10 minutes without another score as Antrim reeled off five points in a row. Neil McManus tied up the game at 1-6 each, heading towards the half hour. Wexford regained their composure, firing over four more points. Aulert the Bala defender, Lar Prendergast, contributed to a two-point lead for Wexford at half-time, 1-10 to 1-8. Thirteen minutes into the second half, Wexford got in for what proved to be the decisive score. A goal scored by Aina Martin, which put them seven up, 2-12 to 1-8. Having hurled with high skill and spirit in the first half, Antrim were now enjoying wind advantage, but inexplicably their challenge ground to a complete halt. This Paul Shield score was one of only three points Antrim scored in the second half. Wexford continued to stretch ahead, Harry Kyo ensuring that all the forwards got on the score sheet. Midfielder David Redmond put the seal on an 11 point victory to set up a home Leinster semi final for Wexford against Kilkenny in two weeks' time. But the big question to emerge from Wexford Park is what happened Antrim. It finished Wexford 316, Antrim 111. To be fair to our lads, they upped their game big time and that's the difference of really playing Division 1. Uh, we were able to keep the intensity up and keep the pressure up and uh, I think Antrim scored three points. They'll be disappointed with that in the second half with the breeze and um, we scored maybe 3-6 uh, or 3-7. So again, more happy. The overall aim was to get a win and um, obviously two weeks' time down the road is Kilkenny. So that's, that's one now we have to start cluing into. I can't. I honestly can't put my finger on it really. Like, you know, maybe, maybe the... Our fitness may not be up to level like you know, of, uh, the rest of the teams. That maybe we put too much into the first half, we didn't have it for the second half. That could be. I don't know. I honestly, don't know. Like uh, uh, we were, we were just. Uh, we, I don't think we won in any section of the field second half. Every ball seemed to be coming back at top four backs from, from uh, puck outs and from clearance and everything else. Like you know, we just didn't get to get onto any ball. Paul Flynn, Wexford hurlers haven't got much credit. They had a good finish to the league, and in fairness, they comfortably beat Antrim today, 11 points. Yeah, they were tipped quite strongly to get relegated and they avoided that, so as Colin Bonner said, a win is a win today. You know, they move on now for a home game against Kilkenny below yeah. Wexford Park yeah. and, uh, you know, clashes of the past will, 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 will indicate that. The full house that. there, that'll be a great atmosphere. Oh, it'll be a brilliant it? night. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, Wexford Park is a fantastic ground to, to play in. There's good pitch and, and the surrounds, you know, it's nice and compact and yeah. there'll be a big crowd there and, you know, the Wexford people will yeah. be supporting their team and so It'll be full house at the John, can Kenny won't fancy going there? No, it never did. Even in a league match, I never fancied going down there. <laughs> a few disasters down there. But <laughs> I, w I would say that Kilkenny will be wary going down there. And, you know, especially the fact that Kilkenny people are starting to write them off a bit now. And So it's a big game for Kilkenny, the next one. It's a big game. And to have to go to Wexford to start to prove yourself, uh, they could have asked for an easier assignment. Yeah. Do you give Wexford any chance, Paul? Um, I win the game, probably not, Des. Mm. Um, you know, Kilkenny are just, as, no matter what John says, Kilkenny are still right. one of the teams to beat. But, uh, you know, Kilkenny will be, will be their first out in the league. So it could be the night to catch them, but I don't think Wexford will. And is it a concern for Antrim that Dini suggests maybe fitness is an issue? Well, I suppose they're moving up the levels all the time. And the, the better the opposition, they'll always make them look 
that in that situation. But I, I, I think beat Antrim Dublin are, last summer, though, you know. Yeah, they beat Dublin, but maybe Dublin beat themselves mm. last summer. Not taken from Antrim, and I think every team finds its level. And I think that maybe Antrim found its level today. And there's a certain point that they can't progress at this point in time. Welcome also to our football men for this evening, Colm O'Rourke and Tony Davis. Now then, we've lots to look forward to this evening. We're going to start off with the action from Ryslip and Mayo's journey to meet London in the Connacht Championship. Surely there couldn't be an upset here. 